Hey guys, it's me, Fastcam. Here, gonna be playing some more Subnautica. If you haven't noticed, I'm, yep, I'm in creative mode. I just wanted to do this to show you guys a brand new, uh, to show you a biome and how to get there. It's called the inactive lava zone. Very, very deep underwater. By the way, I was trying to find out how to do it in, in my survival world, but right now, I need to do a few more hours, tons of hours of collecting of, of materials to make more and more comp compressors for the sea moth. Where's the Cyclops? Then I need to make a reinforced dive suit. Anyways, you don't want to see all that boring stuff, or neither do I, but I'll work towards it, guys. I'm going to make a base there. Telling me this day, today, I've been working a few hours on how to get there. Right now, I got one um, MK2 of the... Um, Compressor for the Seamoth, one of those, and it took one computer chip, one of aluminum oxide crystal. Those are very hard to find. I only had two of them in total. Now I have only one, and then two plat steel ingots and one Seamoth compressor. So yeah, we're about to hit. Um, this is like a straight down part for like up to 500 meters down to the um, bottom here. Okay, we're almost there to the unact the inactive lava zone. Aha. Here we are. So yeah, now it's just time to go diving for hundreds and hundreds of meters. So yeah, this biome is right under the, um, the Aurora spacecraft. There's there's actually quite a few of them scattered around the map, even very close to spawn, but that one is like the hardest to get to. Besides this one, it's like literally um, down below the Aurora. So yeah, the inactive lava zone is darn freaking deep. So yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a thousand meters down. If I'm correct. This is probably around like one of the deepest parts of Subnautica. Now here is, anyways, so yeah. I'll probably do multiple things if, if it doesn't take too long to showcase everything in the inactive lava zone. Because it is darn deep. Oh gosh, it's getting very hard to see now. 
There we are, finally. We got some of this kryptonite stuff here. Oh, here's one of the mobs. It's like a leech. It literally sticks onto your glass of your Cyclops, prawn suit, and stuff like that. Very annoying little guy. As we get deeper into it, a brand new add-ins, the Crimson Ray, a very close relative to the Jelly Ray. Look at that, fantastic. Oh, here's one of the new guys. I don't know what he's called. So yeah, this guy, he's really cool looking. Look at him, aggressive, stuff like that. One minute. So yeah. My suggestions. I'm just gonna put a multi-purpose room right here. Who cares? Let's put in some reinforcements here. Power restored. All primary systems online. Yeah, let's just do that. And then let's add in. There's the thermal plan. Power transmitter. Let's get one of these. Let's just get a bunch of these because this is like a lot so. And then let's get some windows so yeah warning emergency power only oxygen production offline jeez does it really have to be like inside the lava or something like that like inside the lava Okay, there we go. Something I totally forgot to add. There we go. It's okay then. My mistake. <laughs> I... Oh wait. <laughs> How about let's just leave my junk here. Anyways, I forgot I brung a mobile vehicle bay. Yes, this is the guy I wanted to guys show you. The C Dragon Leviathan. That guy has anger issues, let's just say that. Oh, okay. Wow, it just keeps climbing. Okay, this thing is not working. Now I have to just go back to my original idea. So yeah. That guy, the, the guy, that guy, second largest animal in Subnautica. Very big guy. 
found in inactive lava zones, as you can see at the top. Look how deep I am. It's not even cruel. Power restored. All Let's just add some of these reinforcements online. here. And then let's add the windows. Let's see. Oh, wait. Ah! Let's remake the hatch. Warning emergency power only. Oh, yeah, Oxygen I forgot. Oxygen production offline. Deconstruction, just deconstruction, deconstruction. Let's just leave it alone, it's crap anyways. Okay. Just let's add the power transmitter. Wait, that one did. That's the goal for me. Wow. Thermal energy plant. Actually, who cares? I can make something in here. Let's put in a nuclear reactor. And then... Oh wait, let's... Let's add a piece, a glass corridor. So yeah, that guy can eat a, um, can eat an entire, when I mean, I mean entire sea moss deconstruction. It can eat an entire He can eat an entire One minute. He can eat an entire This guy can be. So yeah, this guy. Let's say. Uh, the person is not even as big as this guy's mouth. That's just an, a general idea of how big this guy can be general idea there's four different mobs that live down here or creatures depending on what you want to call them that live here the sea dragon leviathan that leech fang Many of 
feathers. Fangs. Oh wait, I just noticed. <laughs> I can't even have a um. I can't even have a bioreactor in here. So yeah, there's the guy. I'll get up close with him after I make a stupid things. Can show me how much stuff. the no power. What the heckle? Anyway, so yeah. There's multiple different things that live here. Including that little aggressive guy. Not little, little. Things. And then there's only like one big resource you can get here is the kryptonite stuff. That's pretty sure what the name is. Okay. This guy? Look at him! Now you know why he's called the Sea Dragon. Welcome aboard. Fire's freaking. Oh, he's green. He's kind of reddish, too. This guy? Wait, there's two versions of that guy. One that looks a little bit deeper. There we go, there's some warpers that live here too. There's so many different animals that live here. There's one, and then there's the um, lava version that lives deeper, and then there's the leech, the um, warper. Anyways, and then there's like one of these guys per every, um, deep sea cavern so yeah look at him such a beauty be warned the poor this thing is doubled the size of the reaper leviathan he um he can knock around your entire, your entire Cyclops. So be warned about, about your Cyclops being down here. One hit kill with the sea moth or the, it's, he eats an entire sea moth or prawn suit in one hit. Such a beast down here. So let's move on to the next little area. Oh wait, is this the way to get out? One minute. Yeah. There 
might be some... The majority of the um, animals that live here are regressive. Including the warvers. Everything but the... Um, no way. Is that like an, a deep sea... A lava eye? A lava boomerang. Look at this thing. There's three peaceful animals. The crimson ray, the lava eye, and then the lava boomerang. Leave, lives in these deep seas. They live a hundred, up to 120 meters down. Oh gosh, those guys look aggressive. And then there's the leech fangs, and then there was a, a very um, sustainable um, category of fish that live here. The lava eye. So let's get to the lost river biome. I'm pretty sure we can enter another biome from there. So now I know how deep this Places. It's literally like, like the deepest place on this planet. So let's move on to the um, little area. Moved on, on to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the entrance to the um, the great, great, they've a uh, great, great lost river biome is found. In the blood kelp biome. Very interesting, right? Well, yeah. Anyways, I wish this had turbo speed because it's so hard to get down here. It's literally, I have to go across the world just to get to the um, Lost River biome. So this is the one Lost River biome, not Lost River biome, but inactive lava zone over by the, um, over by the, um, the freaking, um, the freaking, um, Let's just say, um, over by the, um, oh, no way, no, uh, over by the, um, the, mm, the Aurora spacecraft, the crash site. So, yeah, um, we found a brand new base. I think we're over by the Grand Reef or the Spurs Reef. Here's a, oh gosh, oh gosh, aggressive, aggressive, aggressive guy. So yeah, there's usually just only two guys found here. Don't be, don't your eyes be deceived by these boomerangs, but they're really not there. This is literally like a hidden, I actually can't believe it. <laughs> I found the brand, one of the brand new add-ins. There's a freaking warper over there. Let's move around. The warpers are dangerous. With a capital D. Literally. If you find them, just stay away from them. Because there's my live pod. So yeah, if you rise to the surface of this place, oh gosh, I'm next to the floating island. That means I only need to go straight on from here to get to the uh, blood kelp biome. Blood kelp biomes are, you. there's only one in the entire game, but it's super small. Anyway, so yeah, the crab, the crab squid can be found.
like find the right way to go, which is this way. So yeah, that's the um the floating island. Hold it up by the second type of floater. The giant floater. Another large animal of the game. Usually you can't see, can't capture them. See, usually you barely can see um. Anyways, let's just say you need to do a little traveling to get all these biomes down. I'm just showing you the very, very, um, like the most interesting, um, biomes. Anyways, so yeah. Now you have to keep a sharp eye out for the blood kelp biome. Usually blood kelp biomes that can be found usually a lot of places. Is ex I mean, not a lot of places except for one. So you see my sea moth gliding. Sea treaders. Live at the bottom of the ocean. Another really big animal. These are very useful animals because they can produce a ton of materials for you. And welcome to Sparse Reef. So peaceful. Welcome to the underground blood kelp biome. Pretty deep. Anyway, so yeah, I've only been here on my Cyclops. I've only been to... Anyways, so yeah. Now if you go... Go down... go down deep enough you can get to the lost river biome and welcome to the lost river biome guys it's a very very unique biome there's like this river a really cool like little river of mist underneath it Look at this. It's a sight to wonder with. Today I'm gonna be showing you details of the Lost River Biome. Number one view of the Lost River Biome. Welcome to the skeleton. If you have noticed this, this is like one of the most things about the Lost River Biome. It has such a big head. This skeleton, oh, here's the new mob I was talking about. Look at that thing. Really big, very recently added. You only need to be a gray. So aggressive. It's a very creepy sight to pass your eyes on. But yes. There there are these ghost rays here that live here. Very peaceful living things. So yeah, I might as well just show you 
I'm pretty sure there's another biome even deeper within the um the lost river look at this they're like roots just literally previewing the entire lost river biome it's a very amazing sight to see So it looks like there's another entrance there. That There's so many entrances to the Lost River biome. Well, quite a few actually. If you want me to see, to go through, um, the, this is pretty much like, there's two to three parts of the Lost River biome. The first one I'm pretty sure of it's the skeleton, like I already previewed it. And then, do you know, these ghost rays are very close to the, um, to that crimson ray. And also a very good, um, it's like a fan and of the jelly ray. They're very close relatives, indeed. The most recent update added, um, this bone texture. Before, the Lost River biome was... This bone texture wasn't here. It was just like a white bone. Oh, look at those. Anyways, I heard they might add a, a new thing to the Lost River biome. Um, a ghost leviathan. Anyways, if, if that skeleton was real in Subnautica, there would be more to preview of this game. Literally, if you saw that thing traveling through the Lost River biome, it'll be, it could eat the entire Cyclops. Welcome to the second part of the, of the, um, ah, of the Lost River biome. The tree, brand new added, they, this is, um, Recently added, what? The update before this update. <laughs> Very deep. It looks like there's a giant egg on top of the tree. A. Oh gosh. Got some more ghost rays here. So yeah down here it's just up to that that ghost tray as you can see it's still um twisting and turning down i'm pretty sure don't get me wrong on this the emperor's facility it's supposed to be like a um secret area Look at this, another inactive lava zone. I've wandered into one more inactive lava zone. Continuous of the Lost River biome. I mean, there's so, there's only one Lost River biome in the entire game and then there's so many inactive lava zones. Got sulfur here. There's more of those leeches. Continuous of of this can be a very deep hearted. This can go very deep and look at that water, lava falls. Exploring the um, inactive lava zone be a wonder to mankind because how deep they go pretty sure they released this thing called the lava castle which is the um the deepest part of the um the inactive 
radioactive lava zone. This is where welcome. Um, let's go down deeper. I'm gonna gonna allow you guys to be amazed. Welcome to the lava castle. Deepest part of the inactive lava zones. And biggest, if I might say. There's our friend, Sea Dragon Leviathan. As big as usual and aggressive as usual. It's so big. So big down here and hot that you could even begin farming down here. Like farming for. You can have infinite power down here. This is like the, like the only spot where the power is like very useful. And this still goes down deeper. To the Emperor's. Facility. Yeah. Yeah, it, you have to don't go down so far for the Emperor's facility. It's not even funny. It's like coming to the end of the um, inactive lava zones. Pretty sure this is the Emperor's facility down here. It's so massive. Look at this. Welcome to the Emperor's facility. A hey, um I'm hoping in the near future they're going to add the Emperor Leviathan. It's a really cool um it's going to be the biggest known creature in Subnautica. I know what you're thinking you're like what the biggest creature is called the Emperor for goodness sakes. It's literally gonna be pretty cool. Like, like twice the size of a sea dragon leviathan. He will look puny compared to that emperor. The emperor, he's like, well. So yeah. What the crack it? I thought he exploded loaded or something I'm like this is like where the biggest area is look at this look at the this is the warper another recently added anyways let's get let's put I'm gonna keep the lava eye on down here it's so hot here that that even I think is kind of scary how hot it is. Power restored. All primary systems online. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Are you serious? Shouldn't there even be? This is literally the hottest place on this planet and there just whatsoever. No. 
when I mean nope, I mean no. It's so hot down here that, well, let's just say, I'm just scared of how hot it is down here. Look, the aquarium has even turned colors. at these aggressive boomerangs, but still, let's just see, one minute, don't I have a static rifle, yes I do, I'm gonna try to freeze that, oh, come on, Dodging him. Nice. So, yeah. If you look how big this guy is, look at him. So big. I bet you I could park my Seamoth just in his mouth. I'm serious, it's no joke. I could probably park my Seamoth in his mouth. Literally. This guy, big, big, very darn big. Anyways, if you guys forgot, this is the, um, the uh, lava castle. <sighs> so many new mobs. And don't forget, remember, I'm pretty sure the um, that's the Emperor's um, facility down there, even farther down. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial video about all the stuff and stuff. Exactly. About all the um, about all the um, stuff about Subnautica's two hidden biomes, two to three, four bi hidden biomes. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.